Hey there guys, welcome back to the Brothers, I'm Robert. I'm David. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different tonight. We're going to be doing a night flight video, which we have never done before. Mm -hmm. Over here, uh, what do you got for us? I got the uh, Night Radian. Kind of a newer model, right? Yeah, this is uh, co-developed co by uh, Flight Test. And Horizon Hobby, am I correct? Uh, yep. Sweet. And then what do you got for us, my friend Paul? This is Horizon's Night Timber. Oh. That one's fairly new, actually. Yeah, that's actually a, a pretty new model, yeah. yeah. And then you're also yourself, uh, you're actually a little bit new to the flying hobby, right, when it comes Absolutely. to our airplanes? Yeah, this is the first plane I haven't crashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, so, like two weeks? Dude, it's already starting to get really dark. I think it's time mm -hmm. to get these things in the air. Definitely, let's, let's do, do it. it. Alright. Yep. <laughs> head's in the way. There we go. Here goes Damon. Do that night radiant, man. Oh, color. <laughs> oh, stop beeping. Dude, look at those colors. <laughs> Dude. And uh, that's losing power. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I think the controller dropped its signal. Oh, shoot, dude. Is it okay? Okay. Dang. Colors are amazing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this camera cannot handle it. No. <laughs> no, once it gets closer, it'll probably fix it. So there we go. Glide time, there's no wind at all. No, it's perfect conditions right now. Yeah. So this is probably the darkest we have flown a plane outside right oh, now. Oh yeah. Um, this is actually our, not our first night planes. Uh, Robert had the uh, Pony Brave. Brave at one point, yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't get to fly it during the night because no. the landing gear just could fell not apart. Handle. It fell yeah. apart with a really gentle landing. Yeah. And then as soon as we got it, they actually started stopped making parts for it. So uh -huh. I was kind of out of luck there. So Damon has actually done, was it four flights on this now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, we will actually have a real review of this airplane coming very soon. Definitely. Um, we'll definitely make sure to get some day flying for you too, but we really wanted to get out here and see what it could do at night. I gotta say, the colors are not what I was expecting. They pop. I actually was expecting mostly just white LEDs. Uh-huh, no. <laughs> this is really cool. They're like full range LEDs. I think that's probably what the co-design with Flight Test really did for it, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they would have done that on the uh, Horizon Hobby probably wouldn't have done those kind of colors on their own. I don't think so. They probably could have, would have just kept the uh, just plain radiant, no, no lights at all. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing for me is the reason why I have an issue with just white. Uh -huh. Someone's having fun out there. Yeah, Jesus. The biggest problem I have with just white is just like, I mean, it's kind of okay with a plane like this because this doesn't do any rolls or anything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like with the white, you just get disoriented. Yeah. Like, I'm not losing orientation at all. No, this is perfect. And then there's no wind right now. It's like perfect conditions for this. You should get kind of lower for that GoPro to get some passes. I just have a wide angle. Oh, yeah. I have an eight minute timer set on this thing that I could easily fly like 15 minutes. Oh yeah. Um, Cause I'm not on the power constantly. It's basically eight minutes of power. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So uh, Paul's transmitter actually lost power. So his, uh, did your plane land okay? Yeah. It's okay, good. actually survived uh, gently hitting a tree over there. Oh, oh wow, okay. Tree over there. Dang. Yeah. Are you done for probably the evening then? Uh, unless I can find some double A's, yeah. Okay. I don't know if there's a convenience store for this. There might be, actually. If you want to go run and get some, it might be more fun like than pitch black. Out here, depending on how late you want to be up. I know there's a Walgreens not too far away. Yeah. You guys want to watch my ship? That's no problem. Yeah. Go right ahead, my friend. I'll be back in Perfect. You'll see. You guys will see Paul again soon, don't worry. <laughs> Jump cut. <laughs> Jump cut, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna land and actually change the colors. Let's do it, let's see it. You can fly this thing forever on a single battery, can't you? Yeah. I won't lie, and then the way we were flying today, um, when he was flying earlier, we actually had a little bit of wind, but it was like 102 degrees out where we live. And I think you were actually hitting some thermals. Yeah, I just kept going. Oh, counts. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just travels forever. No problem at all for you. Nope. So, uh, how do you like the night flying? Oh, dude, it's awesome. This is my first experience doing it, um, but this is great. Sweet, dude. Yeah. yeah, let's go change those colors, see what you can do. It's so smooth right now. Is it? Yeah. The weather conditions like perfect for this, too. Mm -hmm. The night flying is so calm because just the wind dies down. And... Mm -hmm. 
I actually, I'll tell you right now, this is already bright, but I would really love to see this just pitch black out here. Yeah. It will be in probably a half hour. <laughs> oh yeah. Those colors are insane on this camera, man. <laughs> I'd laugh if like some actual airplane saw that. Like, what is that? <laughs> it's a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see that happening. And then they take like a really blurry picture and call it a UFO. Oh, there's a UFO out here in Spokane. We told you. <laughs> like, what year is it? Why are all the camera shots bad? It's so low quality. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I'm so shook about it. I still like the rainbow, I think. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Land in, fix it. It's got to glide for another uh, belt. You know. Yeah, you don't. You barely use the motor on this thing. This thing just carries. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a glider and it's supposed to, but I mean, this is definitely just a glider. I mean, it just carries forever. Yeah, I was reading some of the reviews and they were saying that it is heavier because of the LEDs, so you won't get uh, quite as good glide time as the other one. Uh, but definitely, okay. Definitely get a lot more. I think it's totally worth it. I can tell how some people can lose orientation, especially when it's coming towards you. Oh yeah. Uh, you kind of don't see all the LEDs. A little bit of power. You barely see those people out there. I know. <laughs> you know. The weird thing is we've been filming tonight and we're getting talked to a lot more at night than day, which uh -huh. I'm kind of not surprised. Well, there's not a lot of night flyers. No. To be honest, like where we live, there's really not that many uh, RC pilots either. Uh -huh. You're gonna land? Okay. Let's see it. Might turn around. <laughs> That's fine. High still. Oh yeah. That's awesome, yeah. dude. I love that thing. Must be an important frisbee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. A uh, lady walk up to us as we were filming. Have you guys seen a pink frisbee? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that just looks so cool. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, so uh, Paul here actually, a few minutes ago when we started flying, actually had his transmitter die while he was flying. And uh, safe mode really proved itself again. This airplane actually came down nice and softly and didn't do any kind of damage to it, did it? Nope, not at all. Alrighty, so since you're also in kind of an inexperienced flyer, are you kind of nervous for night flying? Does it seem pretty fun? Uh, I'm nervous of the trees, but as long as we keep them over there. Oh yeah, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, as long as I keep it high enough. Well, alrighty, man. Well, uh, let's see you fly at night. Alright. Oh yeah. No problem. Damon's Plains really has the colors, but that thing just pops with the white. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Damon. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? You think you're going to get a <laughs> night timber? <laughs> no, I already got a timber. I'm good. <laughs> Mine has the basic lights on it, so I could fly it in Yeah, you could. You wouldn't see it quite as well. <laughs> I think you'd be able to maintain orientation pretty well with the uh, red and green LEDs. Oh, yeah. It's just these really pop at night, which is awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. You gonna get your, your radium back up again? Yep. All right, let's see you do it. I think we should get more night planes going. <laughs> oh yeah, I think so. This is really, really cool. Wow, getting a little cocky there, Paul. Yeah, he was actually, I'm proud of him. <laughs> There's Paul right on the bottom of my screen. You're up there, dude. Yeah. You cannot miss that thing at all. Battery had a little bit less life than I expected. Oh, okay. Is it good? Guys, pretty sure. Okay, cool. Got an extra prop just in case. I love safe mode, man. It really does help. 
especially when you're new. Yeah. A little bit of wind now. So, so we'll for yourself, like, is there any real challenges to night flying compared to the day with the lights, or not really? Uh, there's definitely, definitely kind of that sense that is it coming towards me? Is it going away from? Oh, me? so yeah, so it is kind of hard to maintain uh, orientation at times. Yeah, but it, okay. I mean, this one you can just like see like there's, there's a tail, obviously. So yeah, you can tell. But some of the airplanes could actually be pretty hard to tell which way you're going. Yeah. What also really helps with this guy is that this guy does not like really do rolls or anything. Uh huh. But I feel like if he did, he could probably lose orientation a bit. Yeah, I can see that especially with a uh, newer uh, pilot. Definitely. Oh yeah. Like this is my first time night flying, um, but I'm finding it pretty easy actually. Yeah. I think the only thing you really want to make sure of though is like if you're in a really dark parking lot, kind of know where the lights and like the Definitely. poles and trees and stuff are. Like we have poles to the left here, and then we have trees behind us. Mm -hmm, but um, you can, we kind of have a really good general idea where they are because we've flown here tons of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so any damage, it's Paul? It's fine. Really? Oh yeah. Man, save, see what I mean? Safe's just awesome. Yep. So you think the battery actually just kind of cut out on you on that flight? Yeah, I felt like it. Okay. We'll get another one and see what you can do. Yep. Right. So right now with since the camera's trying to adjust to that light, it just looks like big blurs. Yeah. I gotta say, out of all of them, I really like that first pattern. I still, yeah, I'm kind of losing orientation right now. Are you? Okay. Yeah, I know I'm coming. So I think you're actually doing a left-hand turn. Yeah, I'm coming towards. Yeah, you're now. coming over towards. I lost it, yeah. For a second there. Yeah. I thought I was coming towards me, but I was still going away from me. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you're talking about. Yeah. That's why I like the rainbow because it's on constantly. Yeah, and it's not like giving you a break in the action yeah. kind of thing. I mean, it's cool. Definitely. Oh yeah. This still looks awesome. It just this might be more of a dust kind of setting. Yeah. If you want to land it, switch it back to the rainbow one. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> There's the radiant. That's awesome. <laughs> Looking at my plane, I saw like the after image of his lights. I know you're like, whoa. <laughs> so for you being a kind of a newer pilot, like how is flying at night for you? Uh, it's a bit tricky. Is it okay? Yeah. The it's biggest not... trick it seems like is just like watch, like knowing where all like the poles and trees and stuff like that yeah. are, right? Okay. You know what I think, especially since you're kind of newer. I kind of think like if you didn't have safe mode, you'd probably lose orientation really easily at night. Oh yeah. You think so? Especially without these lights. Hey Damon. Yeah. I figured out how we don't need a new camera, just do everything at night. <laughs> it actually does it really well. There you go, there's both of them. Just these two little light specks. There's Damon. Yeah, that's definitely the best setting, I think, for night flying. Yeah, I can do any of the other ones. Yeah, with nighttime, that's like, you're gonna definitely know where your orientation is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it doesn't do like the colors and stuff that Radian does, but man, that white just pops on that thing. Oh, Damon looks like a UFO right now. <laughs> there we go, let that camera try to figure itself out. There we go. Right? <laughs> Is it? Okay. Energy than we think? Yeah. Okay. But hey, that was an excellent landing, man. Yeah. It wasn't staying up as high. 
Okay. The same throttle as it was. Okay. So I'm kind of using that as my measurement. Are you using your batteries right now? Yeah. Okay. Well, sweet. But hey, that was a great landing, man. There's nothing to worry about there. Oh dang, okay. So probably more like three minutes night flying then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you were really up there, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I was actually telling Damon while you were gone, I could just see someone, I could just see someone like in an actual airplane seeing this thing and be like, what is this? Looks like we have more fans, Damon. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I guess so. <laughs> Bugs are attracted to it. That is hilarious. Hang on a sec, let me see this. Oh my gosh, dude. They are everywhere, man. <laughs> oh, hey, pup. Maybe we can make with the bugs. I saw something flashing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You gonna land? Okay. It's actually about time, too, because it says our memory card's almost out here. Yeah. You guys put the lights on yourselves on the Oh, uh, no, this actually came this way. Yeah, you can buy them this way. Ah. Mia. Nice landing, man. Yeah, I mean, she handles slow, though. Good. Cool. Yeah, for it to not blur, I have to, like, stay way zoomed in on it. Right. I think the GoPro's caught that. Oh yeah. I don't know, I'm really impressed. I mean, as long as, I mean, like I said, you get expos on there, this thing is too perfect. And that's definitely what I'm doing. Uh huh. Just definitely need some expos. Should've done that. <laughs> it's fine, I can handle it. It's just I have to be so gentle on those controls. This is not like flying that at this at all. This is, 